Hi everyone, this is Miss Anna from the Eldersburg Branch, and I'm here with an owl pellet dissection video for you today. Um, you all should have probably picked up your kits already at the Eldersburg Library, so you're all set to go. Um, this is going to be a little intro, and then I'll get into the instructions. And this guy here, staring into all of our souls, is a barn owl. Those are the kind of owls that produce the owl pellets we'll be dissecting today. Um, to get started, alright, to get started, so what is an owl pellet? So owls are birds of prey, which means they hunt for small animals, but they actually cannot digest the animal's bones, meaning that they spit them up later in this owl pellet, which is all condensed fur and bones and anything that the owl cannot digest from their prey. And these um, in, um, websites and charts I've got here will explain it a bit better than I can. I'm keeping it short because this video is already a little long. But they're real interesting. If you want to learn more about them, check out this slide. I also included some cool facts about the barn owls. Um, again, these are where our pellets that we're using today came from. I believe it's um, owls from an owl conservatory, not just like from the wild. But they're really cool birds. If you want to learn more, um, here's some facts. And you can type in the links that I included right there if you'd like to learn a little bit more too. And with that said... Um, just check that you have all these materials before you get started. The majority of this should be included in your kit. You'll also need something to cover up the surface you're using so you don't get owl pellet on it. Um, you'll need some sort of little disposable plate or bowl to hold the bones you find. And a piece of non-white paper so you can see what you're doing in order to organize the bones when you're done. And as you find them. So with that said, let's get started with the video. Okay, so you'll notice the first thing I did here is I covered my work area with some paper towels. That's just because I do not want owl pellet on any of my surfaces in the library or at my house. So we're just going to make sure that everything's covered there. And so next up, this is what you will have in your kit. Uh, you'll. This is just something I have. I don't think I can supply this, but I'm going to use a little dish to hold the bones that I find in the owl pellet. Uh, you might want to use um, some like a disposable bowl or a disposable plate, just something that you will throw away or clean off. Um, you'll have this little pick, and you'll notice also before I show you that that I am wearing gloves. I just don't want to touch the owl pellet, and I'll make sure you guys have some gloves in your kit. Um, you'll have this little pick. This is what you're going to use to pick apart the owl pellet, and I'm going to fix my paper towels here so they're overlaying. Um, I have a pair of plastic tweezers that I'll be using to pick apart the pellet. Um, at time of filming, I'm not sure if I'll be able to provide these for you guys, but I hope to. And then I also have the pellet itself. It is wrapped in foil. It looks like this. And you will also get this little guide. And this is going to give you some information on what you might find. And you can use this once you've found what's inside your owl pellet to figure out what exactly the bones used to belong to and what the owl ate before it produced this pellet. Our first step is, I'm going to move my supplies, is that we need to unwrap this pellet. So we need to find a point in the foil and just go ahead and unwrap. Alright, so you get the foil and you just keep unwrapping. once you're done unwrapping, you'll have something that looks like this. This is what your owl pellet looks like. And you're just going to go ahead and start pulling that apart. And you'll notice, you can even see that I think that's some hair right there already. Right here. Start out by kind of looking at the outside of your pellet and see if you can see anything. I see kind of like, well, it looks like some straw. That's probably from the barn owl's enclosure. Um, I think I see even a bone right here already, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to make sure that I'm doing this on a paper towel. Always want to make sure that you're doing this on something that's covered because you don't want to get yucky stuff on your table. So I'm going to start out, I'm going to start out where this hair is poking through and just kind of start pulling the pellet apart using my pick. Yeah, I see some hair here. Oh, I think I've already got a bone. Oh, I think I've found a feather, maybe? 
you want to be really, really careful because you don't want to, if you got anything cool, you don't want to break it. I think I might have found a bone here. I'm going to pull off a piece here, and I do, I do have a bone. Very, very carefully. And when you think you found something, you just kind of want to take your pick and dig around it so you don't pull it completely apart. So I'm going to just rip off that piece of hair here. And kind of clean that off. Yes, and it looks like I did find some kind of bone. I found some kind of animal bone. And I am going to put that in my little dish over here. The video went all blurry, but you can see that I stuck that first bone I found in my dish. And after I'm done picking the pellet apart, I'm going to try and figure out what I found. Or what the owl ate and produced this pellet. And I think I've got something else here, so I'm going to just stick that in my bone dish. And I've already found something else. I'm hoping that there will be a skull. I found another one of these. I assume this is probably a leg bone of some kind. Alright, I'm just going to keep using my pick and my tweezers and carefully, carefully pulling this apart. Alright, I've got something else here. Oh, I got a much bigger bone. I was wrong. I think this might actually be a fibia of some kind of leg bone of a mole or a mouse. But it's the biggest thing I've found so far, so I'm going to go put that in my bone dish and keep looking. Yeah, as you do, just stick it in the bone dish. Oop, I got another couple little bones. You're going to find really teeny tiny little things. And I found another one. And you'll have a lot of a lot of loose fur and fuzz. Oh, oh! I found it looks like some kind of spine bone. So you can't see it very well; it's not very in focus. But I think I might have just found some kind of spine bone here. What have I found? Looks like another another kind of leg bone here. So I used my pick very carefully to clean it out and I have found a skull here. You can see its teeth. And I'm going to look at my reference chart. I know this is definitely not a bird because there's no beak. I'm, I don't think it's a vole or a rat because those both had bigger skulls. I think, and I'm looking at it, I don't think it's a mole because it's got kind of like this longer snout to it. It also did not come out whole 100% but I didn't expect it to it's an owl pellet. I think that this owl ate a mouse because if I compare this to this you can see that kind of long part you can see where the eye sockets were. I think that's really interesting. You look at the side view they look very similar. I think this was definitely a mouse and I'm going to set that over here next to that. And here's what my owl pellet looks like now that I've gotten more into it. You can see there's definitely another skull there and a lot more bones once you get closer to the middle. And I'm still just going to pick off a little bit of fur at a time. Pick through the little piece I found and look for bones. A lot of times you're going to be finding like really teeny tiny little things. Um, sometimes if you're not too squeamish about it, which I kind of am, but um, if you're very very careful and you know you have a big piece, you can also just like pull your pellet apart with your hands. And I'm going to go for the skull here. Alright. This is really cool, guys. I'm going to be super, super careful. But you can see, look at the teeth on this thing. I think, I'm thinking this is a mouse based on what I see on my chart. But I am being so careful because you can see the jaw is still kind of intact here. And that would be so cool if I could carefully just pick that off. Wow, check this out. So it is two separate pieces just because it's the jaw is a separate piece from the skull but look at that look how cool that is look at the teeth on this creature this has to be i think it's definitely not a bird but look at that look at that sharp under tooth i'm wondering if this is perhaps a mole 
I'm gonna look at my guide and see what we found. Or it could even be, I think this, this is so big. I think this is a rat, especially compared to this other skull we found. I think this might be a mouse as well. I think comparatively, I think this must have been a rat that the sow caught. Found another half of the jawbone of the rat and look at that tooth. So I'm filming this close up because I think I found a bird skull. Looking at my um, chart over here, I think that is very much a bird skull. And it is tiny. Like here's my hand by comparison. So I've got this huge gross pile of fur and literally what I'm going to do is just bundle that up in the paper towel and take it out to the dumpster so none of my coworkers have to find a big gross pile of fur. And then I'm going to go look through my animal bones and see what I found that's particularly cool. All right, so as you can see, I have cleaned up the big gross pile of hair. And I, it's actually the next day because my shift ended yesterday before I was done. So I had to leave this lovely ominous note for my co-workers. But now I'm going to lift up the box. And you can see that here is all of the animal bones we collected from the owl pellet. And I kind of sorted them in the dish is vertebrae and I think little rib bones and stuff that's really too small. But I'm going to go through these other bones and see if I can sort them out and see exactly what we found in the owl pellet. So I'm going to pause this video so that I can sort the bones. What a hikey ominous thing to say. Okay, so now I have used my include it in your kit bone guide to try and figure out what each of these bones were. And there were a lot here that I didn't really sort through. These are all, I believe, like rib bones. I believe, based on the skulls, I think I found a rat, a mouse, and a bird. And these are all like little rib bones and really, really teeny thin things. Like, yeah, here's my hand for comparison so you can see how tiny these are. So I didn't really bother sifting through these. I'm gonna try and pick one up and show you really teeny tiny but and this is something that you can try and do at home I took a piece of not white paper so I could see what I was doing and I wrote down as I found the different kinds of bones I looked in my guide to try and figure out what they were and labeled them as I went and put them in the categories so there's not really a rhyme or reason to the order I put these in I just kind of did it as I found and I guarantee you I got some of this wrong. I absolutely guarantee it. Um, so anyone who might be a biologist who knows better than I, please do not hesitate to correct me. Um, but here is what I think I found. Um, at the top we got humerus, which is this bone here. You can notice that it has this little, um, this kind of little bump there. You can see it like right here. And that's a leg bone. I'm trying to see how well you can see it on the rat. I believe that's like that bone there. And I'm believing that anything that's bigger belonged to the rat and the smaller stuff belonged to the mouse. And anything that's like really teeny, 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 like this here, I think was the birds. And going to bring the rat skeleton back around. I'm just going to kind of go through a highlight reel here. I think these are really cool. These are the pelvis bones. Um, you can see that they match this thing here. I originally thought these were leg bones, but I noticed this um, part at the top, and I believe these were like the animal's hip bones. Uh, we got lots of, this one I think is really cool. The vertebrae are these back bones here, right here. And most of them came off as individual little pieces like this. But here you can see a few that are still connected and they're so a little hairy. I do like to make up tutorial things here with these animal bones. Oop, it's in my glove, that's lovely. Um, but you can see how those vertebrae are still connected. And I think that's really cool. I showed this what the backbone of the animal might have looked like. Put that back in the vertebrae section. Um, these, you can see these extremely delicate little bones. These were tibia and fibula bones. These were also leg bones. And 
had to, I had to restart my video because it pooped. I had to restart my video because it pooped down on me again. But some other cool things, I think we've also got these femurs, which are also leg bones. I think those are really interesting looking. Again, we're gonna do our makeup tutorial thing here, only with the animal bones. Oop. And I'm dropping animal bones on the table. That's grand. And I think the coolest thing we found are these skulls and these jaw bones. So this, these two I want to say are definitely from the mouse. They're a little smaller. But you can see, you can see these teeny little teeth. I'm going to grab the poker here because that's a little smaller. You can see these little teeth and look at that big tooth. Like, you can see it better on this side and there's so little hair stuck to it. But I did not know that mice had teeth that were that long. My goodness. Look at that. And again, you can see these teeny little teeth as well. And finally, we've got the skulls, which I think are the coolest. Again, we got this extremely delicate bird skull that I'm not even going to try and pick up. Can't see it. Um, but you can see the beak there. And then we have the mouse skull, which we looked at and we got out of the pellet. But look at those teeth. You can see where the eyes were. Still some fuzz stuff to it that I should have picked out. And finally, I think the most neat thing we found here is this rat skull. And I'm gonna pick it up so I can keep that jawbone there. But look how big that is! I am amazed that there's this much in one pellet. And you can see how the jawbones were connected. I think that is very, very cool. And I'm usually extremely squeamish, so I'm surprised that I'm actually like picking this up and holding it. But that is what you might find in your owl pellet. And you, I have absolutely no idea what's going to be in your guys' pellets. Um, the website said you'll probably get two to three animals, skeletons in your pellet. Um, the website where I bought these from. And I am just going to let you guys explore it. Um, please go in if you find something really cool take a picture of it and stick it in the comments for this video if You find a really cool skull or find something neat You might even want to try reassembling the skeleton on a piece of construction paper and gluing it down but I just turned this around so you can see me for the last part but again, please feel free to put um, Anything cool you find in the comments. I hope you have fun with this Please email me at ajohnsatcar.org if you have any questions and since we are a library, I also found this book called Owls, Strange and Wonderful by Lawrence Pringle. This is in our library collection, so you can put it on hold through Express Pickup if you'd like. And this book um, has anything you possibly want to know about owls. If I can find the page. Pardon me for a moment. Well, here's what our barred owl, this is what produced our pellets. That's what he looks like. And they actually have a whole page about owl pellets and what different owl pellets from different birds would look like, different breeds of owl, and what you might find in one. So I think that's super cool. If you need a book recommendation to try out to go along with your experiment here, this is a great one. But I hope you had fun. Thank you for watching. Thank you for getting your craft kit and have a great day. Bye!